Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a fun comparison video for you. I'm going to compare the Louis Vuitton key pouch or clay uh, in Damir Abin, which I had purchased a while ago, returned because it was mm, not so well made, and then I got another one, and this time I got lucky. It's perfectly made, and it is a made in France piece. So I'm going to compare this one with one of the Royce key pouches that I featured in a video not too long ago. I know a lot of you loved, loved, loved seeing this and you went ahead and actually purchased a key pouch from Royce yourself. So here is a close-up of the brand. I was not familiar with them myself but they happen to be New York based and since I'm in New York City I felt sort of like this kinship and it turned out they're this long-standing family business and I'm really pleased to be able to support them. None of this is sponsored by the way. None of my videos are ever sponsored. So here I purchased a purple one and this is the true purple I got some questions on my Instagram asking is it a dark purple is it a pastel purple so it's it's a purple I don't know how to say it it's a purple and then here is a sort of like bubblegum pink this is the one that I showed you I got this one for my daughter for her 10th birthday she is next to me she is my helper today and she's got our mail key on here so that's hers and then I have been using this black one and my keys are in here so I was actually happy that's my daughter right there you see her legs <laughs> or they can't see you honey they can only see like your kneecaps <laughs> so here are my keys that I've just been plopping in and it works just beautifully and I had mentioned in the previous video that I got these for like 20 bucks or something it was pretty good I'll actually link uh, the cheapest priced website um, link down below in the comments. I think right now Amazon is the cheapest and they also have it on the Macy's website. So whatever's cheapest, I'll, I'll link down below. I don't do affiliate links, so just buy it from wherever, <laughs> wherever you find it. Um, so these three, this one here, I asked my sister-in-law and she said she would love to have this color. So I'm going to actually see her today and I'm going to gift this to her and I'll put it in this nice box. It's empty. So this will be hers. This, like I said, is my daughter's. And then this one is mine. And I love that it's genuine leather and it's like smooshy and supple and it smells. I love the smell of leather. Um, but then I stumbled upon the Louis Vuitton key pouch actually being in stock on the website. And like I said, this was my second time and I thought, let me just take another stab. And I'm really glad that I did. You can see the zipper is really smooth and it's got the beautiful gold hardware. And like I said, it is a made in France piece. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in that red print. The stitching is beautiful. It's really tight and tidy. There's no gapping. It's just really well made, so I am happy. Now, of course, the price difference is astronomical. This currently retails for $215, and like I said, I got each of these for roughly about $20. I've seen it as low as $14.99 on Amazon. I think it's originally listed on Macy's for like $31 or $35, but they have, they have sales pretty often, so you could probably get it for $20 or $25 or under. So I thought, is it worth it for me to keep this when I found a pretty nice affordable alternative? But here's the catch. Aside from the fact that this is canvas and it's Louis Vuitton and it's got the Damier Abin print, I did a quick comparison myself and I find that the Louis Vuitton key pouch is slightly better in terms of holding other items aside from keys. So let me show you really quickly. My daughter is here with a couple of cards on my left. Honey, do you want to pass those cards to me? Thank you. Okay, so I just have a couple of cards. I'm going to take, actually, let me put this down. I'm going to take this off just so you can see each key pouch empty. And by the way, the hardware on the Royce key pouches, some of them have come a little bit tarnished. Like maybe I could show you. They're all, they're all like a little bit imperfect, but hey, for the price, I still think it's an amazing deal. So you see there's like a little bit of scuffing or wear on the hardware on this side. And I found that all of them have a little bit of that. So that if that bothers you, then, you know, take that into consideration. Whereas the Louis Vuitton hardware is pristine and it lasts quite a long time if I can 
go based on my experience with other Louis Vuitton SLGs, small leather goods. So what was I going to do? Okay, so if you're going to use your key pouch as almost like an all-purpose where you have your keys in there, but you also just want to plop in some cash and some cards, I'm going to show you something. So you see this one, when you pull it out, it sort of gets stuck at the very end of the zipper. So you have to shimmy it out, and you also have to shimmy it in, if that makes any sense. Now let me show you what it looks like with the Louis Vuitton key pouch. And it's such a slight difference, just ever so slight, but you see how easily that pops in and then it, it's just not as, I don't know if it's coming up on camera clearly, but it's just not as tricky. And I'll show you why. Look, you see how there's perfect amount of space there? I'll, I'll show you why. So, do you want to hand that to me, honey? Okay. All right, so dimensions-wise, they're very similar, but if I go from one end to the other, you can see here that the Louis Vuitton piece is just a smidge longer. Do you see that? And not only is it a smidge longer, but the zipper goes a tad bit farther. And that is what makes the difference if you're going to put in your cards. And a lot of people rave about how small but powerful this piece is because you can put a lot of things in here. You can also put little bits and bobs like hairpins and buttons and what have you. There's so many different purposes for this aside from being a key pouch. But I would say I could put my keys and then a couple of cards. And this one, yes, I can fit my cards too, but that tiny bit of a difference makes it just a little bit annoying to put the cards in and out. So here it is again. And then in terms of height though, the Royce key pouch is a smidge taller. And then in terms of depth, it's roughly the same except the canvas is a little bit, it's not stiff, but it's just not as supple as this sort of like smushy leather, if that makes any sense. Like this one is definitely not going to sm smush around. So let's just put a uh, price aside. If these were both the exact same price, I don't know. Hmm, that's a good question actually. I haven't thought of that. Which one would I go for? I think for the ease of the cards, I'd go for this one just because of the length and the hardware. The hardware is more hard wearing. It's more long lasting. Um, I don't know how the zipper is going to hold up on the Royce one. So far it feels really good. But I know that Louis Vuitton zippers are like butter for the most part, at least on my other pieces, and they are built to last. So I hope this is helpful. I know that it's not like a true comparison, but they're tiny pieces. I don't know what else to compare besides dimensions, price, you know, just the look, and then what fits. Let me show you quickly what my keys look like when I put them on. So there's something funny where even though the Royce key pouch is slightly taller and, and seems bigger, what am I doing? Oh, uh, it, it kind of bulges a little bit and I don't have many keys. I only have three small keys. I don't have a car, so I don't have car keys and I just plop it in like that and it's fine. But you see there's like a little bit of a bulge, tiny bit, tiny bit, doesn't bother me. Tiny, tiny bit. But interestingly, if I put it on the Louis Vuitton key pouch, it seems like it would bulge, but it, the bulge doesn't show. And I don't know if that's just like, like an eye trick because it's that checkerboard Damir Abin print. But let me show you. Can I have the other one? Thank you. So... Okay, so it's on, and then I just throw them in, and there's no bulge. There's no, like, pointiness. There's no... So I don't know what it is about the Louis Vuitton key pouch, but they made it in such a way. Maybe it's because of the canvas. There's no... There's no... Um, I don't know how to describe it. There's really nothing protruding, and it just sort of jiggles around nicely. So that, too, makes me like this piece... A bit more but again are you willing to pay 
10 times, more than 10 times more for this. You'd have to really be a Louis Vuitton fan and really be a fan of the canvas. And this one comes in the Damier bin. It also comes in the monogram. And I, I, does it come in the Damier Zor? I can't remember. It probably does. Um, and the prices on these just keep going up, up, up. Whereas this, I do think, is a really nice, affordable alternative. So I'm still going to keep my black one um, as a backup. You know, maybe I'll interchange them depending on my mood. A lot of my bags are black. And the the inside, the interior of my bags are also black in many cases. So the only thing about this is that it's a little hard to see and sometimes I peek into my bags and I can't tell if I have it or not because when you tuck everything in, it's just like black on black and it just, you know, when you have those bags where you open up and it just looks like a black hole, this one is not easy to find whereas the checkerboard pattern would really pop and it's just more of um more eye-catching if that makes sense now my daughter's which is pink is really a good pop but you guys know I talked about it in a few videos ago I didn't get another pink one for myself because I didn't want us to confuse our key pouches where we're running out the door and she's like is this one mine or yours mommy and I get confused too so I stayed away from getting pink even though it would have been fun to twin with her and then I thought I would try purple but I'm really not a purple girl I don't own anything purple at all anywhere in my wardrobe. So, you know, I just, and I knew it when this arrived. I was like, no, it's not for me. Luckily, my sister-in-law, she likes this color. So I'm happy to gift this to her. So I do hope this video was helpful in some way for those of you who are debating about the Louis Vuitton key pouch and also wondering if this is a nice alternative. I do think it is. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, I'm all about frivolous luxury content. We have lots of fun here and I would love for you to join in on this wonderful community. Till next time. Bye. Do you want to say bye?